Hey, what's going on guys? It's TV and our frags. Hey, Preston here and welcome to some uh, Titanfall gameplay and informational footage I have for you guys today. So, we're going to be talking about the uh, the burn cards in Titanfall. So, when I was first explained what, the, you know, exactly burn cards were, I was told they're a lot like death streaks. And that kind of, you know, really turned me off to the idea of burn cards in Titanfall because as you guys all know, you know, the death streaks in Modern Warfare 3 were just awful. Nobody liked them. They were really unfair, unfortunate, and it really just kind of there was nothing you could do to kind of like avoid them and not only that but it made it really unfair for players who spend a lot of time you know getting good or getting skilled at the game and it would kind of punish you for that so if you do really good somebody goes on a death streak and then you get destroyed right so this is the new quote-unquote death streaks in Titanfall otherwise known as burn cards but they're not nearly as bad and after fiddling around with them and kind of messing with them they're actually a lot of fun and not overpowered at all so we're gonna go take a look at some uh, some of the footage I've put together and uh, hope you guys enjoy all right guys so once you're at the main menu of the beta in Titanfall and what I'm assuming is going to be the main menu in the full game, the full release game that is. You just go to challenges and this is where you see different kind of burn cards that uh, you can unlock and use in your deck, right? So this is really cool because challenges, in my opinion, in Call of Duty got kind of stale. I mean, you know, getting camos and you know, maybe that that's about it, right? Just camos, and I think sometimes you can unlock reticles or something like that. Wasn't really appealing to me, but the fact that I can unlock something that's going to change my game, either upon death or at the start of my game, is something that really fascinates me and something that I'm going to actually want to work towards, right? So, anyways, if you have the filter down here showing active, then you can see the current burn cards you're working on unlocking, you know, through challenges, and then also you can see the ones that you've already unlocked, you know, in case you guys wanted to go see what burn cards you unlocked during, you know, a specific challenge. So, we're going to keep it on active for now but uh, for example so this one gives me 500 you know 5,000 XP and I've got to play 100 rounds of Titanfall not too shabby but I don't really want this XP so it doesn't really you know have real uh, benefit for me but now if I go to this one right here which is MVP be the player with the highest score on your team 50 times in a row this or not in a row but 50 times this is something you want to unlock because look at all these different burn cards that I unlock from this now I personally don't know exactly what these do because I've never unlocked these since I've never done this challenge before but it definitely makes me want to do this challenge more than I want to do you know getting reps in so rather than just playing a hundred rounds I want to be the MVP for the next you know what is it I need 16 more rounds in order to complete this challenge so it's just really cool how they're giving us you know incentive to complete these cool challenges because they reward us with burn cards so anyways now once you've done that you can go to your challenges and view and see that now let's say you uh, you pause the video right here you went and completed a bunch of challenges and now you've got all these burn cards in your deck and you want to know how to use them so after that go back to the main menu go to your burn cards and then here you can see your deck and now if you have too many burn cards you can only hold a max of uh, a certain amount now, I'm not sure what the certain amount is but it will tell you right up here in the top left hand corner that you've got a full burn deck so discard some cards if you want to continue earning them so basically just discard you know any cards that you don't find very useful and personally I like these this this card right here a lot more than I, I like these three so I'm gonna just go ahead and get rid of those now there's a lot of different cool burn cards the amplifieds are probably my favorite because it amplifies the weapon that is in the card right so you can get an advanced or an amplified carbine which does more damage which is super cool I love that fact or you can get something that kind of modifies your Titan and causes a nuke an extended nuclear explosion something just really cool to think about so I've discarded a lot of my cards so I don't really have a lot right now because I'm working towards a better burn card deck so now once you have the card you want you just click and you pop it in. Very, very simple. Now, the, another cool thing about burn cards is that you can actually use one right at the start of a game. So you don't actually have to die to use a burn card, but uh, you know you can only use it at the start of the game or when you die. So you kind of have to choose between those two options. And you're not forced to use a burn card on death. It's an option. Once you die, you can press a button. For me, it's B because I play in PC. You know, B for burn card. Pretty simple uh, and pretty straightforward. So uh, another cool thing is too is that um, once you use your burn card, it's gone forever. Now, so if you've worked really hard for a burn card, you want to save it kind of for a special occasion, and you also want to make sure that you're not in a bad location when you use it. So just kind of keep that in mind. You don't want to waste your good burn cards if you're just kind of fiddling around. But if you want to go for a cool gameplay, or if you're trying to do something specific, then, you know, go ahead and use that burn card. So you can use a maximum of three different burn cards per game. So, you know, you don't have to use all three, but you can only use a max of three per game. So it kind of limits how overpowered it could be. Because, like, let's say, for example, you had ten slots with all, you know, amped 
uh, carbines. Then you could just use 10 amp carbines upon death and just spawn die, spawn die, spawn die. So you kind of don't want to die when you have a burn card enabled because you lose that burn card. So for example, there's one burn card, uh, massive payload. Now if I don't get a titan in the life that I have this burn card activated, I'm not going to get this extended nuclear explosion on my titan, which is going to kind of suck, right? So you don't want to die, you're going to want to kind of fulfill your burn card uh, before you die. So anyways, that just makes you kind of be a little bit more cautious about your play style and you know, not really want to die. So, anyways, uh, now that I've showed you guys a bunch of this, I'm going to show you guys some in-game footage of me using some of the different burn cards. Alright, so this is the first amplified weapon that uh, we're going to be showing off today. This is the Amped Kraber. Now, unfortunately, I don't have a lot of footage for you guys with this weapon, except for killing one grunt, but it shoots off explosive sniper rounds, kind of like a bolt action. Very, very cool. The next one I want to show you guys is the Amplified R-101C, and that's this is the assault rifle carbine in the beta. Now, I'm not sure, by the way, guys, in that first clip, if the Kraber is going to be in the full release game because you can't use the Kraber unless you have it, you know, through a burn card. So maybe they're going to leave some guns unlocked through burn cards only, which would be kind of cool, right? So you have to work towards a really cool weapon by doing challenges, and you can only get a limited amount of them, which is kind of neat. So also notice, guys, that in this amplified weapon, my crosshairs are orange, which kind of, like, lets you know that your gun is amplified and does more damage, and it's just kind of neat. You get plenty of those, so don't feel, you know, bad if you spam a bunch of those amped ones because you get so many of them. But the next one is prosthetic legs, and this just makes you run faster, which is really, really cool because if you use it with a tactical ability uh, that's called Stim, Stim allows you to run faster, and you can see on the, like, you know, kind of the outlines on my screen, I was using Stim. It's kind of like a, a teal slash uh, light blue glow around my screen. That's the Stim ability, and Stim gives you faster movement speed as well as faster health regeneration. So use that with prosthetic legs, and it's really cool because I, I just love Titanfall because of the fact that you can customize and use different different abilities with burned cards to kind of make them more effective. So anyways, that's going to wrap up this video, guys. Thank you all so very much for watching. I really do appreciate your support. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed and subscribe for more videos. This is why I love Titanfall. I pick up a pilot's missile, use the shield ability, the vortex shield, throw it back at him and get a kill. And then these titans are all ganging up on me. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go nuclear and blow their titans up. Absolutely love it. See you guys later.